tray by tray. Sixth graders work throughout the day, hoping to find something worthwhile. That is pottery shard. And whether they were successful or not, many like Brianna Brown were just happy to be outside instead of stuck inside taking exams at the Searsport District Middle School. Really fun. I'm so glad that we get the chance to do this instead of doing tests. Students did some digging at several sites on Paul Bach and Sharon Cadis' lawn. It takes a little bit of elbow grease. The couple with 20 years of archaeological experience didn't mind, though. Seeing the kids enjoy the experience made it worthwhile. I, I think children are having a great time. Yeah, and yesterday. they're doing a great time. Digging. They they're are doing an a lot amazing of dirt. job, and they're they're listening and they're following out with the instructions. That good behavior paid off. Several Native American artifacts were among the items found. I've been finding uh, whiteware, some beads, some nails, uh, sometimes some red pottery. That looks like it might be hand painted. After students made those discoveries, they wash, identify, and record their findings, putting their knowledge of math, science, and history to the test. You, as a teacher, you're really trying to hit everyone all the time in the classroom, but this is an avenue for those people that might not be the most book learners and stuff to really shine. And learn some lessons that go beyond the world of digging and discovery and benefit them in the real world. You can't really judge things just by how they appear, so you have to actually look at them more carefully, otherwise you never know what the whole story is. Discovering history piece by piece. In Stockton Springs, Rob Nesbitt, News Center.